What's good everybody, uh, so I had to come back really quick with another NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready Driver. The reason for this being is that this is a critical update in order to uh, play Batman. I haven't been able to play Batman since I got it from midnight. Uh, every time the game launches, it's flickering uh, on and off, and then the game just uh, terminates. Um, I mean, I can stay in the menu, but I can't see anything at all, so I have to terminate the app whether I like it or not. Now, NVIDIA had to release... Um, uh, Game Ready Driver uh, in this scenario, which you can see right here, is telling me that NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready Driver is available. Um, they had to release one, and they still having some sort of issues uh, with their drivers and their graphics cards. And, and they have now uh, Rocksteady has now got in touch with AMD and trying to resolve this issue for those of us who are trying to play on AMD. Now we can leave that behind us because this video is entirely based on NVIDIA, and those of us who are using NVIDIA, I'm pretty sure you've probably experienced this issue. If you haven't, you probably experienced something completely different. But in my scenario, this was. Uh, to do with the uh, the game itself, it just won't launch, it launches, it starts flickering, uh, it takes far too long uh, to get out of the uh, menu, you won't be able to terminate the app itself, um, it's just a whole lot of bad things going on with it. So we can see here uh, is the Game Ready Driver uh, revision 353.30. Um, and you can see just in time for the highly anticipated title Batman Arkham Knight. So it is, it is, it is uh, entirely based uh, for this game itself uh, to achieve the best possible gaming experience. Now we don't care about best possible experience. We just need the game itself to be uh, launchable and, and for, for myself to be able to play this. Uh, it's also saying it's added support for SLI technology and GeForce Experience one-click optimizations. Now those of us who are not running on high-end graphic cards and, and want to play the game on maximum settings or unsure of what to do, uh, the best possible settings would be in their case would be to uh, use one-click optimization, which, which you can find under uh, games. And then from here, I'm not going to scan it right now, but you will be able to, once, once games are scanned, it will appear and you can you click on one-click optimization to automatically adjust the settings uh, depending on your uh, the specs of your either laptop or your uh, computer desktop. Uh, so depending on one of those, it will adjust the uh, quality uh, or with performance. Uh, as for myself, I have a very high-end uh, laptop uh, and built-in gra graphics card, uh, which should be able to handle this game. Now, the only issue I was having was this driver. Uh, so I need this driver in place to be able to play the game itself to start off with. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I hope you guys found it useful. Uh, and I hope that uh, you have downloaded the game or purchased the game. And if you were having that issues now, you would have overcome it by installing this driver right now. Uh, so all the best, guys. Game on. Play hard. It is the last Batman game in the making. So uh, let's just give it all that we got. Uh, peace out.